Blackbird Editor's closed captioning tools enable you to view and edit closed captioning in either live or file-based workflows. This tutorial will focus on live workflows of edit side clipping and editing with modification to closed caption content. Once your video, audio, and closed captioning is on the timeline, you may need to modify the time, spelling or grammar, or closed caption position on the screen. There are a number of methods to achieve these functions. To modify content in a single block of caption text or the entire closed caption track, double click on the closed caption track. You'll be presented with two options. To copy the closed captions metadata into the sequence for editing. This will target the current caption, categorized as this metadata, or all captions, categorized as all metadata. Notice the blue closed captions turn to black on white text, ready for editing. At this point, the closed captions lose their connection to the source, so you can change the text. Trimming the caption length will not expose the next caption in line because it's no longer connected to the source. However, this does allow you to move a single or multiple closed caption text blocks independently in time by clicking or shift clicking and dragging. Cut, copy and paste through the keyboard is also available on the timeline. If you wish to modify where your closed caption appears on the screen, right clicking on the caption track will toggle the positions between top, middle and bottom of the screen. This feature can also be assigned to keyboard shortcuts. For final publishing from the timeline or a saved edit, drag and drop from the monitor or from the edit to the required publish. The next closed caption tutorial in this series will focus on unique features of closed captions and subtitles. <laughs>